I can't tell you how many times we just got wiped out. We would lose a, lose a crop because of wind blowing. And, you know, now we're getting paid for the wind blow. As far as the landowners, just having the income, you know, it may be the difference of somebody staying in farming or not staying in farming. If they stay in farming, that's something they can pass down to their kids. Just the extra income is, is just positive. Yeah, you know, they may not be for everyone, but the company's easy to work with. The impact to the environment is very little. And I think farmers and ranchers are some of the best stewards of the land. We have to be because they're not making any more. You can still farm around the windmills, you can still run cattle around the windmills. If it's in a government program, it doesn't affect that. Basically, it gives you some roads, which in our pastures we love because we can go check our cattle with new roads that go to the windmills that we didn't have before. Even the people that don't have turbines, like I say, they're getting a new school building. There's a lot of new school buildings that have happened after the turbines. I've tried to take care of what land we have. This seems like a pretty good way to generate electricity to me. It doesn't pollute. We're not damming any rivers. We're not burning coal. This, this sounds like a really good idea. Use the wind.